Just after Christmas last year, Thomas Amabile went to Lens Crafters. It's blurry. It's cloudy. It's not a clear picture. He works as a plumber. Said he had trouble even reading his measuring tape. It's progressively getting worse. The diagnosis? Cataracts. Amabile, a veteran who served in the 70s, acted right away. According to his medical records, he called the VA to get an eye surgery referral on New Year's Eve. They said they would make an appointment when one came up. Then came January, February, March, April. I kept on calling throughout the year to see about the getting in there. May, June, July. Finally, I get one in August. The eye specialist agreed. Amabile needed cataract surgery, except... The Denver VA Medical Center is postponing all upcoming surgeries for the time being because of an issue in the air handling units in the operating room. Once the ORs reopened, Amabile's surgery was scheduled for September. But that date was canceled due to a new problem with surgical instrument sterilization at the VA. I asked them, well, when are you going to reschedule it? And they said, we'll let you know. After six weeks, he called Nine Wants to Know for help. It's not major surgery, but it's important surgery. Nine Wants to Know how many other veterans were left sitting by the phone waiting for appointments. We studied VA data for the Denver health care system versus the national averages. We found veterans here have to wait 45% longer for a primary care appointment, 64% longer for a specialty care appointment, and get this, 249% longer for a mental health appointment. I'm not speaking just for me. I'm speaking for all of us. We took care of you. When I say you, I mean the country. Take care of us. Despite Amabile's specific request for the VA to speak to me about the delays in his care, the VA refused, saying it wasn't in his best interest to talk about his medical conditions for all to hear and see. The VA added in a written statement, the OR closure and canceled surgeries were a short setback that was quickly rectified, and rest assured the veteran's health and well-being is always the driving force behind every medical decision.